What's up YouTube, Dante Lewis here with another Logic Studio tip. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to get your sound fonts into the ESX24. I thought you couldn't do it, I just thought you couldn't use sound fonts and I just decided to research it and I came across um, I came across it on the Logic Pro forum that you can and I decided to do a video on it just in case somebody wanted to take advantage of sound fonts inside of Logic. And I'm just going to throw this out there because um, I know a lot of people ask. You definitely need a Mac to run Logic Studio. Um, there's no workarounds. Uh, there's no Windows version. So I just want to throw that out there. Um, it's not a stupid question. Some people just don't know. So there it is. So you want to open up EXS24. And, uh, well, you really don't have to open this up first. But I have some in here. And... Um, that I loaded up here earlier just so I can see if I can do it but we'll get right into it here you go this is how you do it so you actually want to minimize logic you want to go to users your user folder uh, mine is Dante Lewis you want to go to application support I already have it open it seems application support um, logic and open up sampler instruments not sound font samples sampler instruments and you're just going to drag and drop your sound fonts into this folder so I'm going to highlight all the sound fonts I have And I'm going to drag them into sampler instruments. Then I'm going to open up Logic. And I'm going to hit refresh menu. And voila, all my sound fonts that I just sent into the folder are there now. And you can use them. And I'm out of here. Hope you guys learned something. Um, pass this video on to somebody. Uh, you know, all I want to do is help people and make make life easier on you guys when it comes to Logic Studio. So, uh, rate, comment, and subscribe if you like the videos. I try to stay consistent with them. Peace.